Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working as a functional consultant in BISP Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to see the case scenario of cash and bank reconciliation in the accounts reconciliation compliance module. So we will go to our application. So this is my application. The first step is to create a format. So under application, we will go to configuration. and then select formats and to create a new format click on plus icon here i will provide the name method that is used is balance comparison method so uh, this is our balance summary tab. Source system is my journal ledger. Subsystem is my bank. Adjustment to source system is adjustment to DL. And adjustment to subsystem is adjustments to bank. I will select the beginning balance and the net activity. This is the system adjustments tab. Here the trans in the transaction detail, we can see the short description, transaction date, close date, and long description. This is for the preparer to provide for the adjustments and just submit the reconciliation. We can add any other attributes from here. This is the source system adjustments and this is the subsystem adjustments. I will just save and close this. Now the next step is to create a profile. So from here, I will just switch to profiles and create a new profile. The name and the account ID. Name is process that is used is the balance sheet process risk rating is um, I can select any according to my organization I'm selecting medium account type is my cash and the balance is debit then organizational unit I will select North America Then the format we will use is just uh, just now that we have created the format, we will use that format. Bank reconciliation format. The method is the balance comparison method. Here, uh, this is for the auto reconciliation. So method I am going to use is balance is zero. I can provide for any days in the reconciliation adjustments. So I'm providing for 10 days. Then in the next tab, I'm not going to give any instructions, particularly any instructions to the preparer. I will just switch to workflow. Then in the workflow, I'm going to select my preparer from here. So Frank Taylor is my preparer. Frequency I'm selecting monthly. Then scheduled from close date and offset I'm providing for one day and duration also two days. Then here I'm going to select my reviewer. Frequency is monthly, duration I'm giving two days. Then the next tab is the currency tab. Here I'm going to select my rate type. And my currency is functional, so I'm just going to select the functional currency. Okay. Then here I'm going to attach some rules to this profile. Let's go to this rules tab. Click on add icon. So the rule that we will see today is prevent reconciliation submission. 
so if this rule conditions uh, get satisfied then the uh, preparer will not be able to submit the reconciliation here we can give any message to the preparer then i'm going to create condition just select the balance attribute is unexplained difference functional if it is equal to value i'm giving 10000 and currency i will select as usd so if it is equal to 10000 then the preparer won't be able to submit the reconciliation so uh, i'm just going to click on ok and save and close this profile now the next step is to import the balances pre-mapped balances into the periods so i'm going to go to the periods and I want to make a reconciliation for the period, uh, period or for the month of October. So I'm just going to open this period first, set status as open. And in the October period, I will go to actions, import pre map data, import pre map balances. So I have already created my source and subsystem files. So This is my source system file that I'm going to import here. It has the reconciliation account ID. That is the name of my profile, the currency code and the amount. This is my source system file. And this is my subsystem file. So the balances are 2,5,000 and uh, in the subsystem it is 1,95,000. So quickly, I'm going to just choose this file, uh, 202CBBK, source system. Balance type is source system. Period is automatically selected, October. Currency bucket is my functional. And uh, this is comma uh, CSV file. So from here, I'm going to click on import. I'm going to check my status from the staging table. So this is pending. I'm going to refresh it. So it has the balances has been imported without any errors as you can see the next thing is to import the so subsystem balances in the same period so again i am going to repeat this process subsystem balance type is subsystem period is october currency bucket is functional and then click on import i can see the progress from here so this has been imported without any errors so both my system balances have been imported now i'm going to create a reconciliation for this particular profile so i'm going again to the profile section i will choose that profile select this profile and in the actions tab i will click on create reconciliations the period is november october so this is for the selected profile i'm going to apply it I can see this reconciliation in the reconciliation tab. Also, I can see the balances that have been imported here. The difference is 10,000. So I'm going to open my reconciliation card. And under this, I'm going to search for my profile. This is my profile. And we can see that the balances have been imported successfully and there is a unexplained difference of 10,000 USD. So if I open this reconciliation, we can see that there, there is one unexplained differences and uh, this is my source system and this is my subsystem and the unexplained difference is 10,000. Now the admin task has been completed. The next step is, uh, is to create uh, and provide for the adjustments that the preparer will do. So I'm going to log in as Frank Taylor.
I'm going to go to the reconciliations tab. Select for my period. I can see this reconciliation here. Now the preparer has to uh, submit this reconciliation and then it will uh, automatically transfer to the reviewer for the approval or the rejection. So I'm going to click here and there are unexplained differences of 10,000 USD as you can all see. So if I don't provide for the adjustments and first select this adjustment to GL. Suppose I'm going to provide for 10,000 USD in the GL. So uh, let me click on add button here. So I will provide for that 10,000 difference here. But the rule that we have provided in our profile was if the difference is uh, 10,000 equals to 10,000, it won't um, let the preparer submit the reconciliation. So if I try to submit this reconciliation, so there is an error that submission not allowed for the following reasons. That is uh, the rule that we have provided in our profile because of that. So this, the, this we can see that unexplained differences functions equals to 10,000 USD. So I will provide for the adjustments and then it will allow me to save this. Short description is, I can select any closed date. A transaction date is I'm keeping as it is. I'm not going to give any long description. I will provide for the differences. And just save this. And click on submit button. Now he will be able to submit the reconciliation and the process will be closed. So as you can see, it has uh, the adjustments have been created and it has been submitted. Now I have no unexplained differences. So the next step uh, is that the reviewer will uh, review it and then approve or reject it. So this is how it is done.